Humana to learn how to manage your file system very well because you will be downloading a Java runtime environment, a Java integrated, I mean, a Java development kit, and IDE, which is basically an integrated development environment. So each time when you are downloading these, everything will be coming and storing inside some kind of folders or files. So you need to know how to, you know, to trace those directories and be able to retrieve them, zip and zip them, install them, run the program from the locations inside the system. And that location is, you know, it's all about storage system that we cannot use them without you know file systems so that's how important file system is and another thing that i may also think of is how possible file system has made us to be able to uh, control our source code I know many of you have had um, this platform called Git or GitHub. Git is basically a source code control management system. And you cannot do manage your source code or your document without files. Without files, you cannot do that. It's, in, it's almost impossible. With Git, you can locally, locally create a repo on your computer and all those, the repo and other file systems on your local computer and be able to share it with others via the internet or remotely from different offices simply because of the file system. So NTF, TFS provides a good access list control. For example, the logging aspect of this kind of file, this the logging attributes makes it very easy for the git to get the, ins the information about the time, the date, the person who have created, deleted, or modified documents in the file. All those file system now plays a great role in version control when it comes to software development, especially, um, you know, when you are controlling the version of your applications, you have to keep them in the separate files. You have to be able to organize them. You have to be able to, you know, to, to structure them nicely in order for you not to confuse your application, your program, and whatever you're doing on the system. Version control is the key part of this uh, video so whatever you're going to take home from this video just take the version control version control which pro which is provided by the ntfs file system is what we are focusing on in this video so that you know that when you are developing an application, when you're coming up with any program, whatever you're doing, even if you're writing your personal documents, you know, you separate them according to, uh, according to their relationships, according to their formats, according to the topics, according to, you know, to the categories, you name it, all those are versions, different versions of your work 
different versions of everything that we do. I keep on referring to Gita, you know, because when you have a repo built on your computer, whatever changes you make to any file that is found in your computer, as long as you have committed those files already as your repo in the Git or in the GitHub for collaboration or for, for, it, for it to be shared by others, any changes you make will be reflected automatically. And that change will automatically create a new version of that file because the previous one that existed can also be retrieved as a new version in the GitHub. So version control, version control, version control is the key to take as the most important aspect of file, folders, and directories. So thank you for viewing in the next video. Now, we are going to see how to manage our file.